Hi, my name is Clara Smith. Today, we are going to be learning about transformation of bacteria through DNA. Enjoy! DNA is a two-stranded molecule twisted to form a double helix. Inside, you can see the bases, like rungs in a ladder. During DNA replication, the molecule unzips. New bases float in from the surroundings and are bonded into place. The pairing is always the same. Adenine pairs up with thiamine, cytosine pairs up with guanine. Because of base pairing, the two new strands are identical. In 1928, Frederick Griffith completed an experiment to determine where bacteria was coded and where its genetic information was. He used pneumococcus in its two forms, virulent and non-virulent, on mice to see its effects. The virulent form is a smooth strain that is encapsulated. When it is injected into the mouse, it is lethal, and the mouse dies. The non-virulent form is a rough strain and does not have a capsule around it. This form is harmless and the mouse lives. Griffith then took the virulent form and killed it by heating it up really high. When the heat killed smooth strain is injected, it is harmless and the mouse also lives. In the final step of his experiment, Griffith took the heat killed virulent bacteria and added it to live non-virulent strain. Both of these were harmless to the mice when tested individually. However, when combined and injected, somehow the mouse died. He concluded that the heat-killed bacteria somehow transformed the live non-virulent strain into lethal virulent encapsulated bacteria. Almost two decades later, Oswald Avery and his colleagues drew from Griffith's observations and continued his experiment. Avery extracted the DNA from the heat-killed virulent pneumococci and removed as much RNA and protein as possible to isolate the DNA. He added this DNA to non-virulent bacteria, and they were again transformed into a lethal virulent strain, and the mouse died. Spanning over almost 20 years of work, both Griffiths and Avery concluded in the report that to their surprise, DNA was, in fact, the carrier of genetic information. <laughs>